Mr. Donovan's Cartoon Universe. Yeah. Well, sis, we're finally in the Big Apple, New York City. I bet it'll be no time at all till we have a big time cartoon job, new friends, and all that sweet, smooth jazz. Yeah, that'll be. Oh, son of a bitch. What? We can't move into our apartment. What do you mean? Thank you for all your application fees, but unfortunately, previous tenant returned from afterlife to. How do you say. Haunt apartment? Apartment belongs to ghosts now. Do not contact. Okay, bye bye. Now we have nowhere to stay. Not to mention, we don't even have jobs yet. Whoa! Newspapers still exist. And there's a classified ad here for two cartoonists with experience developing a weekly three panel. Wow, so specific. We wrote that weekly cartoon for the school newspaper. This is perfect. But that thing was so dumb. We can't make a living off of doodles about a French bear masseuse. Something bleh. It says they're a startup interested in developing comics for newspapers. And they'll even provide room and board. That's insane. I'm sending our portfolio right now. That was quick. Perfect. It's perfect. You should come here now. Interview. Love, Mr. Donovan. Love? I love him already. Here's our resume. As you saw in our portfolio, we wrote a three panel for our college newspaper, and it was pretty well read on campus. Of course, of course. I love the polar bear. It's genius. I love it. I want to do something just like that, but without any similarities. We need to start from scratch. The ground up. I had this one idea. Oh, no. Uh, about a kid whose stuffed dog wants to revolutionize the local government. Jesus. Uh, so, like, uh, the kid has to deal with the systemic injustices of unreformed campaign finance regulation while simultaneously trying to learn fractions. Can you imagine? That's great. So creative. You're hired. Oh, wow. Really? I mean, awesome. Thank you so much. When do we start? So glad you asked. You have a meeting with the newspaper executives tomorrow morning. So I expect you to have something to pitch to them by then. Tomorrow morning? It's already 8 p.m. Well, I mean, I, I think we're all pretty well sold on Candidate and Arfington. <laughs> well, it is perfect, but it's not modern. I want a modern cartoon. 2015. We're in the future, and the funny pages should reflect that. S so it's not perfect. Oh, Christ, no. Come on. 2015. Well, I'm sure we'll come up with something, Mr. Donovan. Thanks so much for the opportunity. Yes, I'm sure you will, too. You better. The quarters are down the hall to the right. It's pretty short notice, but thank Thanks you. Thanks so this much. Means so much to us. Yes. And remember, 2015. So it's about this little anthropomorphic cell phone, and he's um he's always upset because um cell phones are expected to do more and more now. And he wears a little hat. So anytime somebody downloads an app, it's like he needs to learn to do a new thing. So for him, being a cell phone is like a dead end job, you know. So it's relatable, but also modern. Plus, he'll have a little dog. Little dogs are very relatable. Right, I get that. And it's all very cute. Unfortunately, this paper is not currently looking for new comics. These papers aren't really in an expansion phase right now. We're actually in more of a trying to keep from going out of business phase. But Mr. Donovan told Mr. us. Mr. Donovan? Stan Donovan? <laughs> I don't get it. Stan developed a cartoon. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Stan developed a cartoon character nearly a decade ago and had the chance to turn it into a serialized three panel for us. But he ended up serializing it in a different way. He sold it to Smellogs. Now it's the mascot for Fruity Magic Lumps. Mr. Donovan created Denny the Dragon? Yup. Problem is, he sold him off for a lump sum. Get it? Like the fruity magic lumps? Whatever. Regardless, I'm sure that money's running out by now. He must be really desperate for another winner. I want all the juicy details. Do we have a nationally syndicated comic strip yet? Nope. They said they're done with comics. What? That, that's insane! That the funny pages are the only reason anyone buys the newspaper! Do they think people buy those things for the articles? Please, there's nothing funny about the news! We'll agree to disagree on that one. <laughs> well, I guess if we don't have any chance of getting this comic off the ground, I might as well fire it. Ah, or we could take the comic online. Online? Like the American one. I think I might have a few of those CDs around here somewhere. Um, yeah, the, the internet. Uh, most of our friends in college read the strip on our paper's website anyway. We'll just need to figure out how to monetize it. Delightful! An online comic! How very 2015. Hey, I'm Tyler. And I'm John. Thanks for checking out the cartoon. Let us know if you want to see more of it. We'll make more. Yeah. Why not? Be sure to share with your friends and family through all social media so we can keep the cartooniverse going. Mm -hmm. Keep this cartooniverse spinning in the right direction. 
Right in, All of 2016. Right into it. Right into 2016. Happy holidays from our family to yours. Uh, Caroline couldn't be in it here. She's in Maryland. But that's but family, baby. It's coming from her, too. All of this. So, thank you again. You. Happy New Year. Let the good times roll. Was that good? I think that was good. Was that good? Was that good, Tyler?